Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to walk through mitosis. First thing first, before cell divides, what you're seeing in the nucleus are chromatins, not chromosomes. However, for today's example, we are going to look at a parent cell with two chromosomes. Before a cell can divide, it will prepare itself for division. This phase is called the interphase. At this phase, the cell will grow, the DNA will replicate, and for this reason, you will have twice the number of chromatids, but the same number of chromosomes. Also, you will have regular metabolic processes taking place. Now, after the interphase, we will go into mitotic division. This is where the nucleus will, div will divide, and the first phase of the mitotic process is called the prophase. At the prophase, the nuclear membrane will disintegrate. The chromosomes will condense and become visible. Also, the centrosomes, they will move to opposite sides of the cell. The spindle fibers, they will form. You will also see the centriole in the centrosomes. The other phase is the metaphase. And in the metaphase, Chromosomes are aligned in the middle of the cell along the metaphase plate in single file. Also, what will happen here is that the spindle fibers, they will be attached to the centromeres, and they're attached to the centromeres by structures called kinetochores. The anaphase is followed by the metaphase, and in the anaphase, the centromeres, they separate and this will cause the sister chromosomes to move to opposite poles of the cell or opposite sides of the cell. The telophase, which is the final phase of the mitotic phase. Here you have the chromosomes clustered at the ends of the cell. Also, the nuclear membranes will form forming two separate nuclei in the same cell. For animal cells, a cleavage furrow will form. After the telophase, you'll have cytokinesis, and cytokinesis is when the cytoplasm divides, resulting into two daughter cells, and these two daughter cells, they have the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell. I thank you for watching. And a fun fact here is that there are over 37 trillion cells in the human body and you replace at least 330 billions of these cells every day. Have a wonderful and a blessed day.